ladies and gentlemen, it is the Adam Friedland Show podcast. Welcome. The podcast about the Adam Friedland Show. Yes, we are super fans of Can the I Adam Friedland Show. There's some room here to make sure I don't... Yeah, you're listening to Talking Friedland. We're talking, yeah. And I'm your, your host, Chris Smalldick. Yeah. Um, Chris, what do you say about the allegations that have surfaced recently? Against who? Against you. Against me? Mm-hmm. What? Well, what was I, Gadzooks, what was I accused of this time? <laughs> it was uh, force, it, it, complaining that my girlfriend starfishes during sex. Do you remember that? That's what he got canceled for. <laughs> what is a starfish? He's you like, just put your arms well, he, like, legs sent, apart? I, 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 actually, I met, I met that girl that he was dating. She was some like, uh, mm-hmm. like very beautiful girl, like a model or something. Like yeah. A streamer. Where did you meet her? At the uh, Meltdown Comics. Like, oh, cool. Like 10 years ago. Yeah. And that was like probably at the height of Chris Hardwick's fame. nerd comedy. Yeah, yeah. It was when it was when I was living in L.A. and there was that. I wish there was a better word for it. Maybe I'll try to coin it right now. And and now that it's it's far enough in the rear view, the whole vibe is encapsulated enough that that weird kind of um, like like earnest like not just nerd culture, but mm-hmm. that nerd culture that's like. Very highly compa- I guess it is just nerd culture, because it it's is. like you forget it was, that it you forget neo nerd. And the culture. nerds have always been. The nerds have always been like the yeah. entitled dickhead. Like they always frame themselves as like you know this their whole thing. It's like yeah. in high school they're like yeah well one day I'm gonna be a millionaire and you're gonna be bagging my groceries and it's like well what's wrong with people to bag groceries you yeah. fucking f- piece of shit yeah uh, but uh, what. Uh, what was I even talking about? Revenge of the Nerds. A word that you're It goes back to Revenge of the Nerds. Like the whole thing with that movie is like, uh, there's supposed to be some kind of underdog. But then that main guy, and this is a trite observation, the main guy rapes a woman. And that's supposed to be seen as like... He does. He pretends yeah, he's to, wearing the mask. Yeah. He's wearing the alien mask. So he tricks a woman and, and he's rapes got a huge her. cock, so he gets away with it. He gets away with it. Yeah. So it's like the whole thing yeah. is like, it's, it's always like seeped in this very seedy, angry type mm-hmm. of entitlement. Right. That the people that are supposedly oppressing the nerds mm-hmm. don't like, you know, like what's worse? Calling a kid a fag for playing video games? Yeah. Or shooting up your entire fucking school with an Uzi and planting bombs in the cafeteria? Um, I'd say the shooting of the, the shooting school. of the school. Yeah. So even like all of that, all of that, basically all of Chris mm-hmm. Hardwick's thing, that mm-hmm. whole world, <laughs> the UCB type the improv yeah. guys, yeah. what they're saying is, is that women like rape is good. Yeah. Women owe us pussy. Yeah. Cause women have committed the crime of fucking a guy who's popular and good at sports. Mm-hmm. So they deserve to and be handsome. raped. Yeah. And not only raped, but then dying in a school shooting and being blown up in the cafeteria. Yeah. There hasn't been enough celebration of school shooters as nerds. Yeah. Yeah. As being part of nerd culture. Yeah. It's funny because like Elliot Roger got framed as like, mm-hmm. you know, that was the MRA shooter or whatever, mm-hmm. the sense of entitlement. Yeah, that is true. He did kind of explicitly mm-hmm. say that. But like, it's it's not even like... Like Dylan and the other guy, Eric, were probably attractive guys. It's like it's not even that the women weren't fucking them, it's that the women were maybe also had an interest in the people that are more sort of mainstream. Correct. And so yeah. it's they, they hate they hate society fully. Well it was Ma- Marilyn Manson's music that led them to do that. It was. Yeah. Marilyn Manson, who also didn't he finally get me to? I by his, did, by his yeah. own dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he sucked me. He sucked me, and I told him not to, and he took his ribs out and sucked me. <laughs> Lock it up there, child I had. That's how Marilyn Manson talks. He does a little ventriloquist yeah, yeah. act with his dick. His dick's got a like a little wig on. A little, he has a little string tied hey, to his dick. Hey, shut it down there, child I had. That's what he calls his cock, because it's filled with chowder. He's a ch- ow, fuck. God damn it. Come chowder. I just, I think I just chipped my tooth. On the mic? Yeah, trying That's to. That's why you need the wind guard. Trying to reach over here to turn, turn my levels down. I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm clipping. You're a little up. So anyways, what was I saying? Chris Hardwick. Yeah, that's what he got. Oh, so um, what's the word for? Oh, starfishing. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I was, I wish I was a smarter guy so that I could coin... Because, you know, I came up with the term misogynoir. misogynoir. That, and that became a real thing. That became a real thing. That was like... It's funny. I, I think people kind of like memory hold that, that I was actually the first person to say misogynoir 
and then it like caught on and I just did it as a joke and then that you know then it became a thing but yeah what would be a word for that for that uh, uh, how about, let's call it Darthing like Darth Vader okay yeah they're Darthing who are the nerds yeah Darthing is when you like you pretend to be the maybe oh. that's maybe that's a horrible choice <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it I just picked something from Star Wars he has the force or something I have no idea perfidy would be a better example yeah Perfidy is, like, is probably the correct word for that. But there was kind of like a tyranny of the nerd and comedy for a while. Yeah. It's Meltdown, like, com- Meltdown Comics was like the main, yeah. the, the main well, those independent nerds are like, comedy it's room like, it's in like LA. It's like in Dark Knight when, the, yeah. when the, 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 there's that populace, they get everyone out of prison, they set up their own courts. Yeah. And they're highly punitive and killing everybody for every reason. Yeah. And that's how the, the nerds were. But... but uh, you know, and a lot of people say, will say, "But Nick, aren't you a nerd?" N- no, no, I'm a, a fat. I'm a loser. You're a loser. You're not a nerd. Which is not a thing. The yeah. difference between that is there's no community with losers. <laughs> there's no no. I'm there's just a, no loser rights. There, it doesn't exist. I'm just a guy that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Sort of by himself. Yeah. It's not an identity in a way that you really can't relate to. And it yeah. Doesn't. You don't have like a girl that's like, yeah, I'm actually like a total loser. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's no, yeah, groups, uh, there's, yeah, you're not going to, like, go to the loser meetup. I'm, I'm going to play, I'm going to, I'm going to, like. <laughs> Is uh, there an R slash loser? It doesn't matter how much money I make, I will always be a loser. You'll still be a loser, yeah. I've, we've, we're making more money now than you ever. You still sleep half the nights on a sofa. I know, I still go to, I go and home. And the other half of nights on the Dude, floor. yesterday was, like, the first, like, quote, unquote, day off. Yeah, I know. I ate an entire box of cereal, and then. I I found out that they added Wave Race to the Nintendo Switch, and audibly in my apartment by myself, I went, "Ooh!" <laughs> and I heard myself do it. I heard it. <laughs> and that is that's an awful noise yeah, to yeah. hear yourself make. Oh God! In relation 